of the work here is called August 7, 2009. A fragment of a high-speed film taken of a, a group of butterflies. I call them fragments or time slices of, uh, of just na natural happenings, like quite uh, random moments of uh, natural behavior somehow. We're looking at a film that is showing a, a moment that is less than one second in, in real time. Uh, it's filmed like around uh, 7,000 frames a second. So you, uh, what you see is like a very short moment of a second uh, where all these butterflies uh, passes by and when you see it on the film you have uh, uh, three minutes, uh, almost four minutes of uh, actual footage that we look at and you, you believe that you see a lot. I mean, you, you, but you wouldn't have seen a lot of that uh, by looking at it. So. Uh, and, and uh, then using the sky then as the background, I think, then gives it n another dimension with no limits somehow, and it could be anywhere. When you do a film or a photograph or whenever you take a picture of something like a butterfly, then you, like, then you have framed it already in that picture, and then you, when you frame it within this environment, then again, then you, of course, make a visual comment on that. Uh, fragment that you have taken in. So in that aspect you can say, yeah, you bring in a natural movement into uh, the aspect of a, another uh, possibility to view it. You know, you're, you're changing just the uh, perception of it somehow. But it's, uh, for me, I see the, the technical uh, apparatus as a part of, a, like, as being part of the whole installation and then become a sculpture or, or representing a projector. But not hidden. I think, I mean, that's one thinking, it's like the viewer will find a very different possibilities of their own perception while looking at this natural phenomena in this way, uh, which is sometimes different from a natural museum or from nature itself, because it's, it's a, here it becomes an artificial creation somehow. I find interest in presenting this work because it makes comments of a small natural or small fragments that is presented by our, by our nature, so to speak. There must be a reason that I don't know, but uh, a reason why uh, uh, I wish to present those works in this um, context where the uh, natural step behind the art or whatever comes into, not always political, but there is, a, a, there is some kind of uh, discourse behind and uh, in that general aspect of presentation I would say uh, they are non-political but there are, there are statements on and the, and the state of the current uh, environment.